Hello, my name is Asya, nice to meet you and welcome back to my channel if you already know me. It's been a long time since I made the video and to be honest, October was so busy for me. I had so much work to do. We moved to the house, to back to our old house, which you can see right here, it's a new background. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of other things that we, we needed to repair our house a little bit, so it took so much time and effort to do all those things. And I didn't have time, mostly I didn't have uh, energy to make new videos because I do have time, but after completing all the tasks that are that I needed to do first, I was just exhausted and the only thing I could do is to play Assassin's Creed, which I did. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so finally I found some free time and I can go back to filming videos for you. This is going to be a studio vlog and a little bit of plein air painting. First, I think we will start here in my studio. We will do some journaling, we will do some Peachtober. I am participating in Peachtober this year. Uh, if you don't know what it is, I will put a link in the description. It's basically an art ch challenge like an Inktober, but you don't have to use only ink, you can use any, any other medium. And there is a um, prompt list that for a little peach, uh, very nice and beautiful blogger that I follow for a long time made. So yeah, that's it. We will do our challenge. We will do some journaling. We will maybe do some organizing in the studio because we bought new shelves. They're right here. And I need to put all my stuff on those shelves and make sure it is convenient for me to use it. And it also doesn't look like a mess because the shelves are open. And I think that will be it. If if I can make my husband take me to the art store or on a date to the coffee shop, that would be nice. If not, then that will be the end of the vlog. So yeah, I would recommend you to grab your art supplies so we can draw together, draw paint <laughs> and maybe some nice beverage, maybe not. And let's begin. table. Uh, I'm sorry for the light, I don't know what to do with it, but here I want to show you what I'm going to do now. So first I will do some journaling and for the journaling I have this big guy right here. It was supposed to be my sketchbook, but I didn't like paper here. I mean the paper is fine, but it was not made for gouache or watercolors so and because i mostly use gouache so i decided to just use it as a a notebook personal journal because ink and pencils they are super great on this paper so anyways um i was recently having some mental issues <laughs> nothing too serious but definitely something that doesn't help me to enjoy my life and be productive and I am in therapy right now it really helps me um, but I decided to start journaling to help me to understand myself better because sometimes I have some fears and worries that are not very rational and I am not able to convince myself that those thoughts are not rational, so I just write them down in my uh, journal and it works great. It's like talking to somebody and it helps you categorize all the thoughts in your head instead of chaos. You kind of like make a um, nice organized library of thoughts, <laughs> if, that, if that makes sense. So anyways, I'll use this, um, this notebook as my journal and what I like to do is I'll show you from far away <laughs> so I like to make this kind of calendars and mark every day where um, when I had good mood I had bad mood 
and write a little description what affected it, what was the thought, was it about the subject I always worry about or it's something new and what happened this day and that's basically it and next I'm going to do Peachtober I already told you about Peachtober but for the Peachtober I bought this little sketchbook uh, it is pentallic sketchbook I had one like this before but bigger and because um, at this point in my life I don't take our challenges super serious because I don't think they really teach me something new. It was when, like five years ago, every October, I could feel progress in my skill, but not anymore. I think instead of uh, quality, I mean, instead of uh, quantity of artworks, I would better concentrate on quality. So instead of 30 okay-ish sketches, I better do one, but very complicated artwork that where I uh, where I will put all my thoughts and efforts but it doesn't mean our challenges are not fun anymore so yeah today we're on a day oh uh, let me check calendar it's day 22 and the prompt is I think sprout and yeah I will I'll do painting here, I'll do journaling here, and of course you are invited. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm a talking machine, I talk a lot, I don't know why, I just, I need friends. <laughs> I sailed across the Atlantic, thought I'd find myself When I found you, gladly accepted all the lies you've given me They kept me busy In this lonely city I'm lost at sea Trying not to panic Though it's far too late As I mentioned before, the prompt of the day was Sprout and I ignored the fact that Sprout is very young and small plant and decided to paint some flowers. This month was very busy for me and some prompts I just did for fun, like this one. Nature landscapes and especially flowers are my comfort zone and I needed something easy to give myself a break. Last month I did Inktober, but only half of it and it was very enjoyable. I didn't burn out and had a lot of fun this month I decided to not do Inktober because ink is not really my favorite medium and instead I decided to do full Pitchtober. Spoiler alert, I have done all 31 illustrations for Pitchtober and two more that I didn't post on my Instagram because I didn't like them. But I'm going to show them in my next video. For the Pitchtober I specifically bought this cute little sketchbook. Its paper is so good for gouache and all Peachtober illustrations I did with gouache. This painting is very meditating and simple. You don't even need a reference photo to make something like this. It can be absolutely random and still look good. Before I started painting leaves and flowers, I flooded the whole page with light green paint. It allows me to not worry about background and concentrate on tiny details. To balance this explosion of colors, I added dark blue background. Since all the colors I used are very light, this dark blue sky creates nice contrast and lets viewers eye rest from looking at all the details. Final touch is nice details. I take the smallest brush and add some tiny stems and leaves here and there and our painting is done. I'll trade my pillow for your company You know I'd find the window of opportunity to paint A rainbow of silk and call it serendipity 
You can drop my motorcycle and all will be forgiven. It's a celebration, so I lift you off the ground. Not only me falling the sign around. It's the ocean glows like we're in the movies. You got so much sand on your body when my hands be moving softly. Look in your eyes. We had the same gig in life. Now I know too much has been said. I take myself on adventure instead to build a new way of life. Welcome to the second day of my art vlog. We are in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho beautiful city with gorgeous nature. I found very cozy spot next to the forest and water. There was nobody there, so I decided to paint what I see in front of me. I was so lucky to find a spot full of big rocks that I used as my chair and desk, and it was very comfortable. Thank you, Mother Nature. I started with underpainting to check if I chose the right colors. It seems good, so I continued painting by adding big objects like trees and rocks. I painted for an hour and a half and the light slightly changed, changed, so I had to hurry before it becomes dark. One more mistake that I always make when I do outside painting is not using sunscreen. For some reason, I never remember to use it. All this time while I was painting, my husband was walking around enjoying the view and even found time to surprise me with a cup of delicious coffee. Is that for me? It is for you. Are you the best husband? I guess I am, at least for today. <laughs> After a nice cup of coffee, I had more energy to finish my painting. And here's the result. I wish I could film more of the process, but I forgot to take my camera holder with me. I'm mommy's professional YouTuber after all. It is time to pack my art supplies and I will see you tomorrow. Welcome to the third day of my art vlog. We are in Spokane, Washington, and I'm going to paint this beautiful tower, trees, and water surrounding it. I wasn't alone there. These three guys were swimming around begging for food, and in the end, I couldn't resist and gave them snacks. This painting day was a bit easier. First, I used only one page for the painting, and I was sitting in the shadow all this time, so I didn't fry, which is nice. Architecture is pretty hard for me to paint because of the straight lines, so I had to redo this tower like three times, but it ended up looking fine. What was super fun to paint is trees. Yellow, green and red all together was very enjoyable to paint and it looks great. Autumn is the most beautiful time of the year because of the colors. 
I think it was my first plenaire in public place where nobody tried to talk to me. I guess I was sitting too far away from people. At least geese enjoyed my company or my snacks, I'm not sure. Do you guys like feeding birds? I really like it and I don't know why it makes me so happy. I'm very close to be done. The bridge looks sloppy right now, but I'm going to fix it. Just needed some time to let it dry. This painting showed me that architecture is not my strong point. I guess I should practice more. But I only love to paint cute houses or fancy castles. Other architectural objects are not interesting to me. I spent one more hour fixing my painting, feeding geese, and I was done. Here's the final result. I hope you liked it. And I will go pack my art supplies and I will see you tomorrow in my studio again. morning today is the next day of my vlog and it is final day today um, our task for today is to clean my studio a little bit organize these big shelves and I think we will be done I bought some frames and posters you can see one of them here which I will use for decorating my studio later but for now um, I don't have much time because I need to paint something for those frames. I need to fix something on this poster. So I think I'll make next video about all the uh, frames and paintings I'm going to do for my studio. But for now, let's just clean it, organize it nicely and have fun. So we have this nice area here with couch and two big shelves. And I bought this shell specifically for my art supplies, but right now they are so messy and it doesn't look very nice. And nothing is organized here, like all my pencils, markers, brushes, everything is just in uh, big piles right here. So I guess today I'll try to make it look nice and organize everything. I also have this poster, I found it in the Goodwill. Unfortunately, <laughs> there was a little bit of an accident with this poster because it had a glass right here, but it fell on my husband while he was sleeping here and the glass broke. Husband is fine, no scratches, but the glass damaged the poster here a little bit. And before I will hang this poster, I want to fix this area, probably with oil paints, because looks like it was originally oil painting, but of course this poster is just a, a print. And I think nobody will notice if I use some oil paints here. I also bought some frames also in goodwill there is uh three frames just simple white frames and they have uh, movie posters so i want to put two two of those frames right there with this big poster but i'll also do it in the next video i don't even know why i'm showing you this right now anyways let's start cleaning with this shelf okay so i bought these baskets specifically for those shelves so i can put all the stuff that doesn't look very nice here and it looks good and organized <laughs> but i think i'll bring one more basket here because this shelf uh, yeah this shelf has two ba big baskets and i want one more basket here <laughs> done uh, I'll leave this vase here because I think uh, it looks pretty nice here I'm not going to move it and I will start putting it back but I hope it will make more sense now because before it was just randomly here <laughs> I'm breathing hard <laughs> and now I'll try to fill every basket with um, 
specific type of things and I hope it will work. my uh, two old paintings I, I made them separately but they look so cute together I should probably hang them somewhere but I don't know where found some scented um, it's not candles, what's it called? Scented wax cubes and I totally forgot about them. I guess it's time to use them. I tried to organize my books and sketchbooks, but here's the issue. They fall to this side and I don't know how to make them stand straight. I guess I need those fancy book holders, but I don't have them. I guess I'll have to improvise. Nailed it. I left the sketchbook I use right now on top, so I don't ruin the whole composition but I think it is better than what I did before probably not as convenient I don't know we'll see we'll see so far it looks very nice Looks like I have finished this shelf. Let me explain to you something. So in the bottom, I have the least attractive things. It's boxes of paint. And this basket I use for the stuff that I don't, I don't usually use, but I still need it. And uh, yeah, so because it's like down here, nobody can see it. Next, we have uh, our books, and here I put all my acrylic paints, palette, and apron I use for painting. Next shelf is the most important shelf. Uh, I have a basket here with all the stuff I use all the time. Pencils, gouache, um, well not gouache, well some gouache, uh, brushes, scissors, markers, whatever, and my gouache, and because this shelf is right where my hand is, it's super convenient to grab anything I want. Next shelf has my flowers that I use in my videos as something nice to decorate, well, <laughs> I have old uh, coffee, what is it, it's not a cup, it's like a, a jar, but it looks cute. I don't even mind the coffee sign. And here's tiny basket with my old little paintings, my old tiny sketchbooks. This one I still use for Peachtober. This one I finished. This is my personal diary. And this is my gratitude journal. And top shelf, because it's so high, I didn't put anything there that I will use. It mostly has cute knickknacks. This is a frame I got in Goodwill and I painted the ocean here. This is candle that my mother-in-law gave me. This is the frame I also found in Goodwill, but I'm going to take out the this whatever this prey picture, glue it probably in my journal and paint something for this frame. And vase I found in Fred Meyer, and this is dried garlic I collected in my garden. So, 
yeah looks very nice oh I need to cut the price tag okay let's move on to the next shelf here we have Halloween decoration and Halloween is over so I need to hide it two baskets one is full of plastic uh, what's it called wraps <laughs> Uh, because we were painting some things in our house, so I saved them to protect like floor and furniture. This is very old picnic basket I found also in Goodwill, and it's empty right now. Here we have some, I think this is a paint we, we wanted to use in our house, but we didn't like the color. Uh, some more knickknacks from Goodwill. This is from Goodwill. This also, I painted this flower myself. Tray and cup is from Goodwill. And this is from yogurt. I use it as a cup for water when I go to plein airs because it is small and it is convenient to take with you in the bag. Next, we have a shelf. We call it crap shelf <laughs> because I want to leave the shelf half empty because it's next to the entrance door. So it's very nice to put keys, cell phone here and you probably won't forget anything when you leave the house. You see the shelf and it's very nice to grab something. Some ibuprofen because I got my wisdom tooth removed and I keep it close to me. And top shelf is always for decoration, which I have a dried baby breath here. It's my favorite flower, but I feel like I'm going to get rid of it. It's not in a good shape anymore. All right, let's start working on this shelf. finished this shelf it is a bit empty emptier than the other one but the other one is closer to my desk so that's why it's full of my art supplies and this one has picnic basket I put some random stuff that I don't use in this basket and I moved this flower here because it's not super good quality I don't really like the look of it I just use it as a decoration for my videos Next we have basket here. It is empty now, but I think in time we'll fill it with <laughs> random things. I put this mirror here. I plan to put it on the wall, but I want to repaint it. So right now it's here. My IP profit, you didn't see it. Here I have some little vases and kombucha bottle that I like and I don't want to throw it out on a tray basically it's just a decoration here here's one more empty basket i guess we'll use it in the future crab shelf it's empty i guess i can put my ibuprofen here <laughs> um, and top shelf is for decoration i think i'll buy something for this picture like fake flowers or dry dried blossoms but for now it is fine at least it looks neat so it doesn't bother me anymore and I think we're done with cleaning well this is the end of my vlog I cleaned the house I cleaned the studio I did some nice painting and the most important thing I enjoyed filming this vlog for you guys I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm, I'm sorry, it's been a long time since I posted on this channel and surprisingly, nobody unsubscribed. <laughs> so that was 
that was cool thank you so much for supporting me by watching this video and yeah i hope uh november will be easier for me i'll do more painting i'll do more studio vlogs and uh, a nice sketchbook tour awaits you i know you love sketchbook tours yeah and as always i want to thank you for watching this video please stay positive stay creative and i'll see you in my next videos bye i'll trade my pillow for your company you know i'd find the window of opportunity to paint a rainbow of silk and call it serendipity